What's up guys, it's your boy Cut here bringing you guys a new video in today's video. Um, I decided to make a tutorial video because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of series on my channel from now on. So I'm going to be doing a whole series on how to edit you guys and helping you guys get a lot better. So if you're just starting out, this is the perfect tutorial for you. I'm going to be editing on After Effects. Uh, sadly, anyone that's editing on Sony Vegas would not be able to follow along this tutorial. But for you guys to follow this tutorial, I'll have a link in the project down below. So go check it out on the description. There will be the project link so you guys can follow along on what I'm doing. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pretty much sync your clips or trick shots or whatever with time remap and how to make it have some sort of flow. So I'm going to show you guys the difference between a flow and without a flow. So this is my old, uh, really old edit. It was called Cuddy is Back. That was inspired by Phase Force. And this was uploaded on August 21st, 2016. And this is the example of not having flow. So let's go ahead and start it out and see how it goes. So... If you look at the sniping clip, it's on point with the actual rhythm of the song, but it doesn't really have that flow, you know, you know what I'm saying? So just keep watching you here with me. So it seems kind of simple and pretty, you know, pretty simple and not really have that much flow. It's syncing well, but you know, it doesn't really have a flow. And this right here is what, we, what we're going to be doing today. And, and this edit right here is called my Summer Vibes edit. And it's uploaded just this year, June, June 11th. Uh, so I've been editing for quite some time now. And well, it's almost been a year already, which is crazy. But um, this is a good example of flow. And you guys will see right now. Came and went like the summertime. Was that a sunset or sunrise? Looking back like where the time go. So much we're trying to keep. So if you see how like when the rhythm hits, um, it you know it'll, it'll actually go with the flow of the song, which is pretty cool. You see how like, I just slow there and it went pretty fast. Like the, it goes fast, slow, fast, slow, and that's something that my old edits didn't have. And so yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. So what you guys want to do is launch up your After Effects and open the project file, which will be down in the description below, and check it out. Um, so for this song, we're gonna be using the same one we just did. So I'm opening a comp with that. And then we'll go to composition settings, composition settings again, and make sure that we have our good settings here. So we're going to do it at 30 frames per second, 1280 by 720, which is 720p. Click OK. And let's get started. So if I were you, I'd probably double click L here on your keyboard and find the, find the part where you want to start your edit. Um, let's just listen to this real quick. So we're going to start with this kick right here. So what you guys want to do is find a song that has really good rhythm and a really good beat. For example, this song is perfect if you want to listen to it. So it's a really easy song to actually sync up with. So what I'm going to do is click, uh, pretty much split the layer with Control shift d And that will split the layer right there and delete the other one over here. And let's put that at the very beginning of our composition, which is like the beginning of the video. And let's start from there. So let's be like right there. Okay, so what you guys want to do next is double click L again. And then just zoom in with this thing right here by dragging it over here. And you guys will be able to see in the waveforms where the actual rhythm is. So each spike right here is where the rhythm's at. So what you guys want to do after that is pretty much what I'm going to do is go right here, which is the first, you know, the first kick of the song. Drag this cursor over here, drag it all the way to this part right there. So I can actually keep in rhythm and do this for every single one. So you can actually be a lot easier for you to edit this instead of just, you know, kind of guessing where the rhythm is at or and trying to see where the beat is at. Um, as you can see, I zoomed in. So do what helps you guys a lot. Um, I'm going to keep doing this for a while. So I'm probably going to speed this up real quick. All right. So I think I'm done with that. Um, I'm going to drag this over here probably so it actually starts out with something so we can actually hear something. Um, so I'm gonna click L again, click the audio levels right here on zero dB, right on the marker. And we drag this all the way over here towards the beginning of the composition and go up, put negative 48. And honestly, I'm trying to drag this a little bit closer, like halfway this zero, this keyframe right here. So in case you guys don't know what keyframes are, it's just pretty much a certain point of time. So at this point right here of the video, I want it to be at negative four dB, which is no audio at all. And then over here where this kick goes in is when the audio starts. So I want to start it. I want it to start faster. So I'm just gonna put this together. Depends on whatever you guys want to do. It's just pretty much just fading in the song. That's it. Let's see. Okay. So now after that, I'm uh, dragging your cinematic or whatever you want to use. 
Uh, I'm trying to see which one it was. It was this one, I believe. So, as you can tell, I have my cinematic here. And what you want to do is put pretty much just click right click right here, go to time, and put enable time remapping. And this is pretty much what's going to allow us to sync it up pretty nice and well. Um, I'm sorry if I don't have really good lighting on my, vid my video right now, my webcam. Uh, just let me know if you guys want to see any webcam videos like this, but enough of that. Um, so you can tell that it starts backwards actually. Um, and that's how it was in the video. So what I'm going to do is pretty much going to drag this keyframe to the opposite side and then grab this one over here and go over here. So what this pretty much is is just turn the video like backwards instead. Uh, cause that's what I did for this edit because I thought it was a lot more cleaner. Um, so I'm going to take this down over here. It's just pretty much just making the, the video itself shorter. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to drag this over here. So now I'm going to line this the first kick where it starts out. Line it up with the keyframe right here. So it starts out with this. And I'm going to listen to this real quick. So let me just mute the audio for the cinematic. Okay, so on this point right here, I want the sniper clip to start like, you know, showing up. So I'm going to drag this keyframe way over here and see if I can do that. And then after that, I'm just going to click edit and click split layer. And now I got rid of that part. And what I want to do here is pretty much add a keyframe here for the time rem remapping so that I can actually have that flow, you know. Tw tch tw so it's going to look pretty clean with the actual beat of the song. So after you guys got your cinematic, you know, loaded up and stuff, um, pretty much what you want to do is highlight it, highlight all three of the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. And what that's going to do is going to make it seem a little bit more smoother, but we still got to adjust it to make it a little bit more better. So what you guys want to do is go to, go to this graph editor right here. And then after that, you guys want to zoom in again and you guys want to play with these things. So for this specific video, because it's backwards, we're going to have to do it backwards. So you see this, just pretty much just click right here, like how I clicked it, and you'll see these two yellow looking lines pop up with a little circle at the end. What you want to do is you want to grab the circle, just click on it, keep holding it, and just drag it down all the way like this. So you can see it's kind of messing with my video right now. But trust me, if you guys want to make it look pretty clean, it'll look pretty good. So you want to have this like wave kind of form, if you can see right there. I know it's going to be complicated for your first time, you guys, but trust me, just follow along and it'll be pretty easy. So once you do that for this first half, you're going to see that these other two came up, came up as well when you click on this one right there. You want to drag this down as well and do the same thing again. And sometimes it's pretty good to have this curve because of the, the frames per second, but it's really up to you guys. And if it's really like choppy, then don't do it. Like for example, let's see how this looks so far. Let me load it up real quick. Okay, let's see. So as you can see that it went on the real rhythm of the song. So yeah, so pretty much that's what we just pretty much just did it. That's pretty much like a basic tutorial on how to make sure you guys have flow. You can do this with your clips as well. Um, but this is just for your cinematic right here. It looks pretty clean if you ask me. Um, but let's go straight into the next part, which is the clip. So if you guys want to stop watching it for cinematics and you guys can stop watching it here, that's pretty much it. It's really simple. Um, but for clips, it's a little bit more different. Not too different, honestly. But let's go straight into the clip. So I'm going to drag it down over here on top of it. And let's watch the clip and see what we can add of this. So he pulls up. He shoots right there. Okay. So what you guys want to do is pretty much right click. So drag your, your, your clip into the composition. And then right click. Go to time. Same thing again, enable time remapping. And now what we're gonna keyframe is pretty much each time he shoots. So this is the beginning part, which is already keyframed. And then he shoots right, where does he shoot? Boom, right there. So it's right there, right where the hit marker pops up. So once that, once you guys are in the selected area of when he shoots, go down here where it says time remap and you'll see this little you know kind of triangle thing. And let's hit add or remove keyframe. Let's add one right there. And let's go to the next one, the next shot. Okay, so right there. Keyframe it again. Keep going. Boom. There's a third one right there. And then boom. That's pretty much it for that clip. 
So I pretty much added the last keyframe there, so it actually goes pretty well. And I added it when he puts the you know the bolt thing back, so it looks pretty clean. And what you want to do now is just pretty much this last keyframe over here, which is like the end of it. I'll just I usually delete that and then just drag it over, drag this thing over here. Um, I just I just don't want to deal with that. So okay, so what you guys want to do after that is pretty much just adjust your keyframes to the selected markers of the rhythm of the song. So this one's gonna drag it over here. And this one's gonna drag it over here. And this one's gonna be dragged over here. And this last one is gonna be dragged over here. And I'm gonna click right click again, or actually go to edit and then click split layer. Get rid of that so we don't have to keep you know doing it. So now what you guys want to do it again is pretty much again highlight them all, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now go to graph editor right away, and you guys will see that we have these waves right here. Um, we want to make it a little bit more different, so click on this bottom yellow thing right here. Zoom in if you want to. I personally, do, I personally want to zoom in, and I pretty much just mess with these things. So I'm gonna drag this one up, and then drag this one down, and continue to do this for each and every single one of them. So drag this one up, drag this one down, drag this one up, drag this one down. And same thing with the last one, drag this one up and drag this one down. So kind of like how I'm doing it. So if you can see, it's kind of like a wave. It's not too crazy where it's just like stupid crazy wave, but it's like pretty much just a wave that you want to have. And yeah, so that's pretty much it right there. So let's click out of the graph editor again and see how this looks like. I'm going to drag this keyframe a little bit more over so it can be on point. And let's see how this looks so far. Came away like oh wait, forgot to take off the audio of the clip because I don't want to hear it. Came away like the summertime. Was that okay, it's loading up. Alright, so now let's start out the whole thing and see how it looks. Came away like the summertime. Was that okay, you see what happened at the end there? Where he just like kind of looked weird like and came back into it? It's because I curved it too much. And you don't want your edit to look like that because it just honestly doesn't look really clean at all. So turn the curve down just a little bit on both sides so it doesn't look like that at all. Um, but other than that, it looks pretty well. It's not too bad. I'm gonna probably put it down just a little bit on each one just because I didn't like really how it looked like. But you know, that's what's uh, the thing about editing you guys, it does take time. Um, I've been editing for a year on different softwares. I did edit it on Sony Vegas and all that, but After Effects was seemed to be the easiest for me. Like the Hold on, it's loading up. Let's see, let's see how it looks like now. Came away like the was that yeah, so if you can see, like that's really well edited right there. That's pretty cool. Like, I mean, the syncing is average, of course, but it looks pretty clean if you ask me. Was that a sun set on set? Yep, I think that's perfect. Let me see. Let's go from the beginning. Yeah, perfect. So pre I know you guys are thinking, Cuddy, this looks really shitty. I mean, there's no color correction. There's nothing going on. Um, there, there's really nothing else I can show you guys. It's just the beginning part of the tutorial. So this is just the syncing part. And it's pretty easy. I know it's been kind of long but you guys will get the hang of it it's just pretty much time remapping so once again like i mentioned beforehand if you guys want to edit really well you guys make sure you guys edit 60 frames per second videos or clips because if you edit 30 frames per second you're very limited to actually you know making it seem really smooth and go with the rhythm really well and luckily this song is really easy to edit with but yeah so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know it's a very long tutorial video but this is just part one of the video there will be a part two video and it's gonna be showing you guys pretty much how to have these smooth transitions and the color correction on there um, for the rest of this edit. And if you guys wanna continue working on this, you guys can work on it, do your own thing, make it your own, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, like this video, and if this, re this video gets at least 10 likes, I'll continue to make these tutorial videos and just continue to show you guys how to make an edit throughout, the, throughout a whole series, you know, transitions, color corrections, gun sounds, everything I'll link everything in the description below if this video gets 10 likes and I'll continue to make this as a series but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video leave a like and make sure you guys give me some feedback on this tutorial I kind of move my microphone there from right there but 
make sure you guys give me some feedback on this tutorial if you guys want to see face cam no face cam it's been a while since i made a tutorial and i'm just making it man I've, i just feel like doing it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah i'll see you guys later peace out